Hello, myself Dr. Dinesh Anpati. Welcome to my channel, Digital Forensics for Beginners. In this video, which is titled as Malicious Insider, the basic concepts about who can be a malicious insider in an organization and what are the reasons a particular individual in an organization can become a malicious insider and what are the threats that have been caused by a particular malicious insider in an organization also the mitigation techniques in order to avoid the malicious insider from damaging the, the sensitive information of an organization are also discussed apart from that the where we can find out the digital evidences against the malicious activities of the malicious insider that is also covered in this particular video so to begin with, we'll discuss about what is a malicious insider. A malicious insider, uh, it can be a particular individual in an organization uh, who sides with some external actors for maybe some for some personal gain, financial gain, yeah, and then he provides the valuable information of an organization. The sensitive information of an organization is being shared by a malicious insider. So, a malicious insider generally is an adversary who operates inside the trusted computing base. So, actually he is having the, the full access uh, of an organization, is uh, whatever the sensitive information that is there in that particular organization. So, uh, if a particular employee is having an access, fully access to that particular information, so in that case, uh, the external actors uh, may you make use of that particular uh, employee of an organization for their personal gain. So, what can be the reason? Or who can be the particular insider? That means, uh, what we can expect of a, out of a particular organization's employee. So, who can turn into an uh, insider, malicious insider? So, the employees uh, of an organization. So, who are the regular employees? of an organization so they can become the malicious insider the contractors so that means certainly uh, if a particular organization has given some contract uh, to some organization some external organization so certainly they are having the access to the vital installment or maybe the sensitive information of an organization or the people who are working uh, as, uh, as part of the contract uh, that means the contractor might have provided some employees from his side and they are working in the organization. So it might happen that those particular contract uh, employees might also be, might also can turn into a malicious insider. The vendors, so they also can uh, turn into a malicious insider and the customers. So it might happen that the customer might also have some secret information of an organization. So it might be the case that the customer also may turn into a malicious insider. So the, the malicious insider are the people who work inside an organization or who might be in touch with a particular organization and they might side with some external uh, threat or external actor and they might sell some sensitive information for their personal and the financial gain. Sometimes the, the people uh, the who turns into a malicious insider so they might be uh, doing all these activities for their in order to take the revenge uh, against that particular organization so these are the various reasons a particular individual or employee or the associated people to an organization can turn into a malicious insider so what are the threats uh, which have been caused by the the particular malicious insider like the data corruption, deletion, modification. So, if a particular uh, individual is having the access to the sensitive information, so it might happen that uh, it might cause the deletion or might change the original data, sensitive data, or corrupt that particular data. So, that can be the, the activity that can be performed by a analysis insider. Then, leaking the sensitive data, sensitive data might be sent. Uh, by the particular malicious insider, either remotely or by, by personal, uh, by hand. So that can also be done by the malicious insider. Denial of service attacks. So suppose 
uh, a particular malicious inside uh, the the actors can uh, become a part of uh, attack like a denial of service so how they can do so for that purpose so suppose uh, mal- uh, the organization is trying to access certain uh, facility features uh, from some uh, some public network and uh, the malicious insider might use the network facility of that organization for downloading certain unwanted things like from some videos from the youtube or for movies videos so that can be done so in that case the most of the bandwidth of that particular network might be used uh, by by uh, by the particular malicious insider and in turn denying the services uh, denying denying the required facility or uh, the particular uh, what are the activity that is to be performed by an organization so it might be denied or sometimes it might happen that a uh, particular malicious insider might not provide the required services to the the other uh, parties which are associated with the a particular organization so that are some kind of a attack uh, that can be caused or it is a kind of a threat denial of service it's kind of a threat that it can be caused by the malicious insider then blackmailing uh, a particular organization so the malicious insider since he might have some access to some sensitive information he or she might try to blackmail the the particular owner of the organization saying that i am having the sensitive information so you have to provide some uh, maybe some uh, uh, financial gain uh, the particular malicious insider will will try to get from the the owner of the organization so by doing a blackmail then theft of the corporate data so important uh, sensitive data can be stolen by the malicious insider and it might be sold out in the the market so that can be done by the the particular malicious insider so these are some of the threats uh, which can be caused uh, that means which a malicious insider can cause now what is the uh, motivation why a particular uh, individual uh, which is a part of an organization or might be associated with that organization why he turns into a malicious insider so for that purpose uh, we have to understand this miser okay so m is for money i for ideology c is for coercion e for ego and for r for revenge so these are the uh, particular reasons uh, a particular uh, maybe the reasons why a particular individual uh, is motivated to become a malicious insider money financial gain uh, individual wants to get more money okay so it might be one of the reason ideology so ideology it may be different okay it might be supporting different kind of a uh, philosophy or maybe a uh, kind of a uh, different parties or maybe even different countries so certainly in that case uh, a particular individual become turns into malicious insider then the next is uh, the portion uh, is one of the reason why a particular individual turns into a malicious insider it might be the due to the some external actors uh, might have force or threatened a individual to turn his side towards him that means so that it can become a uh, uh, share some inform information about an organization so for that purpose external actor might threat might threat uh, that particular individual of uh, working in an organization to turn towards him to turn his side towards that side so uh, or maybe towards the actor side so that can be the reason the ego some jealousy may be there uh, of a particular organization or maybe the ego of a individual might be hurt okay might be the particular kind of a word that might be used uh, by the higher authority in an organization so it might happen that uh, the individual's ego might be hurt and he might try to take the revenge of that uh, owner of the organization so these are some of the reasons why a particular uh, individual gets motivated to become a malicious insider so like this uh, we can understand from this particular figure that uh, the external pressures internal psychology and they leads to a particular individual becoming a a malicious insider and it can perform some malicious act 
So we will see uh, what are these external pressure and what are these internal psychology which are responsible for an inducer to turn into a malicious insider. The external pressures like uh, substance abuse, infidelity, gambling, deviant lifestyle, uh, lifestyle choice, family crisis, employer sanctions are some of the external pressures uh, which really uh, which might uh, cause a particular employee to turn against an organization. So, uh, individual might be involved in uh, some drug cases. So, it might happen that he might do anything for getting that particular money in order to purchase the, the particular drugs. And for that purpose, he uh, will side with some external actor. Infidelity, infidelity something is related to uh, some is uh, loyalty uh, with a particular spouse uh, with an individual spouse so it might be the reason so some issues might be there at their uh, personal level so it might happen that this might also affect uh, cause the particular individual to turn against an organization because of the, the family issues gambling is involved mostly in uh, doing the gambling losing the money and he wants to get more money so for that purpose also he might turn into a malicious inside a deviant lifestyle choice some are extravagant people so they also want some more money the family crisis some issues are there medical issues are there at their house so these are some of the issues also another important thing is about the employer the employer might have sanctioned that employee even though he may not be uh, the that means uh, the kind of problem or uh, the sanction reason may not be valid. So certainly the employee uh, might feel that he has been sidelined or he might have been targeted by the or higher authority in the organization. So in that case, the particular employee, there is a chance that he might turn against the organization. And then what are the internal psychology which are causing a particular individual to become a malicious insider? The serious mental disorder, some mental issues are there. Personality itself is something uh, what we can say is uh, about uh, a difficult, different kind of a personality, uh, certainly uh, with different attitude. So it might happen that uh, those people are certainly dangerous to an organization, poor social skills, so they are still a uh, reticent kind of a people and uh, certainly they will they think differently they don't talk much more uh, with the other employees so they are also the may be the kind of a uh, people who have become a, a malicious insider decision making biases so they are unable to take the proper decision and they are having the lower lower self esteem so they don't have the respect for themselves and also another is about the man anger management so they are unable to manage their anger. So these are the, the internal psychology related issue. So those people who are having these kinds of psychological uh, issues, so there is more chances that those people turn into the malicious insider. So most important thing for an organization is that they should also hire the services of the psychologist in order to identify if there, there are certain employees who can in the future might turn into a malicious insider so if uh, then that organization can focus on that particular employees all the time so that are the things which are required to be taken care by an organization certainly uh, the the call the threats or maybe uh, the attacks that can be caused by the malicious insider certainly the attacks is related to the stealing the sensitive information then uh, damaging that information or corrupting that data, modifying that uh, information or maybe another is about the financials related issues. Certainly even with the data, the sensitive data if they are having, the, in, uh, the organization might also face some uh, certainly financial issues. Uh, so the, the impact of the malicious insider is going to low cost the businesses in the, the revenue in terms of billions. So the, this is uh, the example is given what are the impacts of the malicious insider like the billions are going to be lost in the revenue from the fraud that are going to be caused by the malicious insider. The brand name also gets affected 
Okay, suppose some insider in an organization has stolen the secret of an organization. So, in that case, the brand or name of that particular organization also gets affected in the market. Then, the intellectual property laws. So, certainly the sensitive information like the copyright or the patents uh, of an organization, it, it is lost. Uh, so, certainly it is going to be huge um, financial loss for that organization and also employees health uh, due to the workplace violence. So, that is also going to uh, the, be the impact of the malicious insider. So, these are uh, the, the impacts which are being caused by the malicious insider. Now, how uh, a particular organization can mitigate the insiders, that means how they can solve the problem that have been faced uh, by an organization due to the malicious insider in their organization. So, first of all, the the, mali uh, the organization is required to uh, do the certain things like the pre-employment screening. Okay, so there are various things which are required to be done as part of the pre-employment screening of an organization. Certainly, the social, uh, like the previous things we have discussed about the the psychology of an employees is also required to be assessed as part of the pre-employment screening. So, their family backgrounds, uh, so that is also required to be assessed and also how that particular employees uh, behaves in the society. So, that is also required to be assessed by an organization. The policy and the procedures, uh, if a particular employees uh, turns into a malicious insight, So, there has to be provided in a manual uh, so that what kind of sanctions or what kind of punishment an employee might face if he is identified as a malicious insider. And also, they are required to define the procedure to identify the malicious insider. Separations of duties. So, uh, still, if there is an employee and it is unchecked, so how we can identify the problem that have been faced? or the impact that might be caused by the malicious insider. So, for that purpose, if let's say financial related issues are there or uh, some secret information is there. So, in that case, uh, the, there should be more than one employees who can work on that particular sensitive information. So, unless and until uh, one uh, uh, gets permission, another can't get access uh, once, once one does not permit another can't give the access, does not get the access to that information. So, some kind of a hierarchy is required to be established so that if there are more than one employees are working on the same sensitive information, so there are going to be less chances that uh, the individual will turn into a malicious insider because he will be having the fear that he might be got caught. Then the legal risk management and the HR coordination, so that is also required. So legal help is also, uh, the, uh, certainly manager is, management is required to take care of that if uh, certainly the situation happens. So the legal aid issue might arise and the legal help is all the time is required to be taken by the, uh, the organization. So they can provide that details that if uh, employee have been identified doing the malicious activity uh, as a malicious insider that uh, he will be uh, uh, required to face that legal action. Risk management is also required. Suppose a uh, malicious insider have sent some sensitive information or have damaged uh, some information data in an organization, then uh, certainly that uh, management of that risk uh, is required to be done by an organization. Okay, so so it is also one of the activity that has to be carried out and HR coordination is also required. So, HR is all the time is involved because he is going to screen the employees, he is going to watch their behaviors throughout. So, certainly the HR people is also involved in order to identify uh, about the employees, their details. Uh, and then the pre-incident indicators, so those are also required to be identified that if uh, these things are happening, suppose one example we can say is uh, about the pre-incident, someone is trying to access the network at uh, uh, during the off hours, okay, the network in an organization or the email have been sent during the off hours. 
So certainly why an employee is doing that activity when no one is there in the office. So certainly these are some of the indicators. So these are required to be identified internal complaint procedure. So someone uh, if uh, is identified or what are the complaints are being filed against an employee like uh, maybe is not behaving properly with the other's employee. So there are some kind of a violence related incident or some um, some kind of a fighting or some people are having the grudge against each other. So, so those kinds of complaints are required to be also required to be checked properly so that the those employees uh, which are involved in those action so they can be uh, that means they can be verified by the, the organization that means they can't be they will they will come under the, the radar of the organization uh, so that uh, they will be all the time which is going to be monitored. Termination procedure. Suppose an employee have been identified as a malicious insider, then the termination of that particular employee. So what should be done? Whether the one month notice, two month or immediate uh, termination of that employee. So that is also required to be specified as part of the manual of an organization. And those manuals are required to be provided to the Employees, so that they will be all that having some fear in their mind about that they there is a chance that they may be terminated. So this uh, kind of a mitigation strategy is required to be employed by an organization to avoid the threats happening from an analysis insider. Now where we can find out the digital evidences against the analysis insider. So there are various uh, the, that means. Uh, digital devices uh, like hard disk, ma main memory and uh, the structures uh, in the main memory so they can provide the, the valuable in in information about the analysis insider. So whatever the activity that happens in an or, uh, on a computer system in case of windows based computer system so that is going to be registered in this windows registry database. So the organization uh, if they wants to identify uh, the malicious insider they are required to verify the information from the windows registry what kind of activity have been performed on that particular computer system so that is also required to be verified and for that purpose in case of windows the registry which is a configuration database it provides the details of the activity that had happened on that particular computer system so the registry key maintains the details. In case of uh, Linux, uh, based com Linux computer system, uh, directory structure of the file system, uh, the Linux based computer system, it provides the, the activity details. Uh, so on the, the various directory of the or even the files on the direct on, on your computer on onto the hard disk of your computer system of the Linux based computer system it provides the details about the activity that have been performed by the user of that computer system. So those are required to be uh, accessed by the organization. So maybe regularly, maybe in a week or certainly or, or in a day. So certainly from that and there is required to be analysis is to be performed of those evidences. Event logs uh, in case of windows the event logs are created. So certainly what is the time of the login whether there was some issue with the computer system. Uh, so those event logs uh, maintains that information. Various information or even any details, minute details that happens on your computer system like a login, login failure, logout time, all those details have been maintained in this event log. Some software have been updated, some software have been downloaded and installed all those details are maintained in this event log so certainly those details are required to be uh, uh, extracted by the the, the forensic uh, uh, whatever the particular investigator so in that case uh, certainly the organization should have a forensic investigator to handle uh, the particular the possibility of a malicious insider the network packets, uh, whatever the uh, the packets that goes through the network of an organization, they are also required to be taken down. So certainly, uh, we can one can understand what kind of information is being passed from that particular network packets. 
the analysis of those packet also can give more uh, sensitive uh, that means uh, the information valuable information about the employees and its activity the volatile memory dump is also required to be taken certainly uh, the dump uh, it is required to be taken remotely because if you are saying uh, now any or uh, whatever the evidences are there uh, which have been taken from the windows registry or from the directory structure of the linux uh, based file computer system and its file system or uh, the event logs the network packets and the volatile memory so sir these kinds of evidence from this source of the uh, evidences they are not required to be taken uh, informing to the individual okay so this has to be taken without letting the employees that they have been under observation so if you uh, inform that your computer system is under observation or you are under observation so they will become more uh, what we can say is that they will take care of uh, deleting the evidences from those source of evidences so certainly all those things are required to be done without letting uh, the particular individuals or the employee being made aware of it so certainly uh, all these evidences are required to be gathered together what are the evidences that are gathered from these particular evidences uh, source of evidence are required to be gathered together and from there the conclusion is required to be derived by the organization whether it is a malicious whether that employee is a malicious insider or not so for that purpose this volatile memory like in the volatile memory what happens uh, it maintains certainly the the particular uh, user can't delete anything from the volatile memory it is going to uh, have the snapshot as it is uh, the activity that happens but there are the chances that registry directory structure event logs they are being the evidences which are registered in these are being can be deleted by the the particular malicious insider but we can have the the complete information as it is in the volatile memory so certainly the the volatile memory or the ram of that particular computer system where the prospective malicious insider is using the computer system is volatile memory is required to be done or remotely so that it can be analyzed and the activity can be identified from that volatile memory so these are the various uh, uh, and there are certain tools are also there which are can be used by the organization so certainly the organization is required to have the either way they are required to hire the services of the forensic investigator or they are required to employ a particular forensic investigator in their organization itself and also required to purchase the required tool in order to uh, gather the evidences against the employees but certainly uh, if uh, the employees uh, the employer so does not believe in the employee so certainly there will be the trust will be lost between the employee and the employer but certainly if it is a sensitive information so in that case uh, the uh, the employer are also required to take care of their particular sensitive information as well so in that case they can hire the professional uh, forensic investigator or they can put on their role uh, this investigator so these are uh, the the particular evidences and their source of evidences so thanks for watching the video and if you like this particular video please uh, click on the subscribe button to get the, the notification for the future videos on the digital forensic domain thank you